I have this call to the Deck of Cards API. It creates and shuffles a deck of cards, then I'm making a second API call with the deck ID to draw cards from the deck. In this case, I'm creating a deck with specific cards and drawing them all, so when I make changes and run the code, we'll see consistent results. Once the cards have been drawn, the data is passed through a series of transformations in the form of a promise chain until we get the output we see here, only the clubs sorted numerically. So let's start the refactoring by taking this second fetch call, pulling it out into its own function. So I'm just gonna cut this and up before a promise chain, I'm gonna define a constant. I'm gonna call it draw cards. Draw cards is gonna be a function that takes in an ID and makes our call to fetch. So I'll get this deck reference out of here. And then I wanna take that ID and pass that in to the URL for this API call. And then I can come down here into the promise chain and I wanna take my deck and resolve that to the deck dot deck underscore ID property that we get back from the API. And then I'm gonna add a new then, and that's gonna just call draw cards and pass that response along. And we'll see that we get our result back to where it was. I've included the Ramda library in this page. So I'm gonna pull in some utility methods from Ramda. So I'll declare const and I'm gonna pull in prop as my first one, and I'll just destructure that out of Ramda. And I'm gonna drop back down into the promise chain and there are a few places where all I'm doing is taking the resolution from the previous promise, grabbing a property off of the object and passing it along. So this is a good example. So I can replace this with a simple call to prop with my property name. And then I can do the same thing down here for cards. So I'll say prop cards. We'll see, we get our result again. And then I can do the same thing right here inside this map where I'm pulling image off of the card object. So again, I'll say prop image and everything's still working as expected. I can also tighten up the code on the filter and map calls. So I'm gonna jump up to the top here and I'm also gonna pull in filter and map from Ramda. And then down here, I'm simply gonna replace this existing call to filter with Ramda's filter, which is gonna take the function as its first argument, return a new function, that's waiting for the object that it's gonna run the filter on. In this case, it'll receive cards from the previous then. And I can do the same thing with map. So I'll come down here and we'll use Ramda's map, which again is gonna take the mapping or the projection function first, followed by the data, which it'll get when this previous then resolves. I can also clean up this sort. So to do that, I'll jump back up to the top here and I'll also pull in sort by from Ramda. And then down here, I'm gonna remove my reference to cards and I'm gonna sort by, and then I'm gonna remove this function and I'm gonna replace it with prop value. And this is gonna sort by the value property, just like I was doing before. And we get our result again. And I can also clean up this filter by pulling in prop equals from Ramda. And then down here, I can basically say I wanna filter where the prop equals, and I have to give it the name of the property and the value, which in this case would be clubs. And now I'm gonna jump back up to the top of the file and I wanna pull in join and compose from Ramda. And then I'm gonna come down here and I wanna update this map. So I wanna use Ramda's map, but I also wanna run my join so in order to do that, I'm gonna grab this join, get rid of that dot, and this is gonna be a composition. So I'll use compose, and I'm gonna run the map to get that array of images, and then I'm gonna join them to get back the string. Now that I've refactored most of these thens, I'd like to pull some of these things out into their own functions. So I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna say const get deck ID and I'm just gonna assign that to the function that we get when we call prop with our property name. And I'll replace this just to make sure I haven't broken anything in the refactor. Then I'm gonna do the same thing here with cards. So I'll define get cards. And I'll do these in order. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my filter, and pull that out of here and we'll call this just clubs, and then we'll define the function. Okay. 
and then sort by value. Then I'm going to pull this map to the property image out of here. And I'm going to call this pluck image. And we'll see that everything still works. And now I can refactor this one more time. I called it pluck image. So I'm going to come up here and I'm actually going to use the pluck function from Ramda, which is basically going to take our image and our prop and puts that together into a single function call that'll pluck the image property off of all the objects in an array of objects. And then I want to take this composition where I'm mapping to the image tag string and joining those into one string. So we'll call that to image string. And we'll use that down here in our promise chain. And then just for good measure, I'll take this last function out of here. I'll call it render. And that'll take in our image string and set the inner HTML on our element. Now that we've pulled all these functions out and given them meaningful names, it's pretty easy to follow what our promise chain does, but there's still an awful lot of thens in there. So I'd like to do one more thing. And what I want to do is I want to just create a composition that does all of the transformations. So I'm going to define transform data, and I'm going to set that to equal a call to Ramda's compose. And now I want to convert as much of this data transformation as I can into one composition. So fetch returns a promise. So does dot JSON on that response get deck ID is fine, but draw cards also returns a promise. Promises aren't really composable because they're not synchronous. Um, so what I want to do is I want to start here with draw card or get cards and then compose the rest of this together. So in transform data, because we're flowing from right to left, we're actually going to start at the end. So I'm going to start with two image string, which is called after pluck image, which is called after our sort. We got just clubs and get cards in there as well. So now I have this composition that essentially does what all of these functions do. So if I take those out of there and I replace those with a single then with a call to transform data, everything will work just like it did before. So I can get rid of these. And you'll notice that I didn't include render in my composition. And that's because as it stands right here, this transform data function is a pure function where render has side effects. So it's really not pure. Um, but if you wanted to cut this down to a single, then you could compose these. And I would suggest doing it in line just to make it very clear that we have something impure at the end of this and everything works as expected. And we've cut this down significantly.